Once there was a student who struggled in his geometry class. The topic he struggled the most was the chapter 7.4 specialized triangles. Oh my god, specialized triangles are so hard! Ah! The student was ready to give up until a mysterious genie appeared in his room. Behold, today I will teach you a song that will teach you special rights triangles in less than three minutes. Special rights triangles, they can be so hard, but there's an easy way to solve it now. There's two triangles that I'll teach you right now Today, I'm officially solving it 30-60-90 triangle Hypotenuse is twice the length You multiply root 3 to the length If the hypotenuse is 12 units long and the short leg is 6 units long, what would be the measure of the long leg? Well, according to the 30-60-90 triangle formula, the long leg is short leg multiplied by root 3. Since the short leg is 6, the long leg would be 6 root 3. If the measure of the short leg is 5 units and the long leg is 5 root 3 units, what would be the length of the hypotenuse? According to the 30-60-90 triangle formula, Hypotenuse is twice the short leg. Since the short leg is 5, the hypotenuse should be 10. If the measure of both legs are 15 units, what would be the measure of the hypotenuse? According to the 45-45-90 triangle formula, hypotenuse is measure of leg multiplied by root 2. The hypotenuse would be 15 root 2. If the hypotenuse is 23 root 3, what would be the length of the legs? Since the hypotenuse is 23 root 3 units long, the leg is 23 units long because the leg multiplied by root 3 is the measure of the hypotenuse. Beep beep! Now is the time for some challenging problems. If the hypotenuse is 56 units long, what would be the measures of the legs? Wow! Since the hypotenuse is not in a radical, it looks really hard to solve. But don't worry, there is a way. If the hypotenuse of a triangle is 12 units long, what would be the measure of the legs? Since the hypotenuse is not in a radical, you would have to divide by a radical. 
Since the hypotenuse of a 45-45 90 triangle is leg multiplied by root 3, you would divide 12 by root 3. Then you would have to multiply root 3 to both sides of the fraction to cancel the root 3. 12 multiplied by root 3 is 12 root 3, and root 3 multiplied by root 3 is 3. So now it looks like this. 12 root 3 divided by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4, so the final answer is 4 root 3. Now I know how to do it! Today, I will teach you a song that will teach you specialized triangles. Oops. Today, I will teach you a song that will teach you specialized triangles. Behold, today, I will teach you a song that will teach you. Today, I will teach you a song. That will teach you specialized triangles. Then let's. <laughs> I didn't really make any noise because it was on this one. Hey, you forgot to stop. <laughs> <laughs>